this video, I'm not going to be really diving into the logistics and the politicalness of why this streamer made the comment that she did, but I'm just mainly going to react, not react, but I'm mainly going to talk about why this is not okay for the most part without getting too political because I, we don't get, we don't get political on here. There's no reason to get politics on my channel. I don't like doing that for any of you who don't know. Uh, I don't really like doing that because it never really ends well in any scenario. And so that's why you don't really see me talking about many politics stuff. I mean, obviously I covered like Donald Trump getting a assassinated because regardless of he's my views on him or, or whatnot an assassination of anybody is fucking insane like that that's not okay so you're probably wondering what the hell am i talking about but if you have not heard this streamer who from my understanding is a mod of hassan which is a massive 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 political twitch streamer he has like four mods that recently just got banned like all of them except him so if they aren't mods they're like aliases of him they're all like in a little group like little like little butt buddies the majority of people don't really see eye to eye with other than you know their communities that they all pretty much share with each other but this one streamer in particular i don't even know how to fucking pronounce her name nor do i really care if i get it wrong is a twitch streamer by the name of frogan went off on a crazy crazy rant about american veteran soldiers and it's insane because again i don't care about the politics end of it i really really don't i'll get into why she made these comments Comments, but like if you don't know what she said i'll explain it real quick but she pretty much just said i hope a, like a lot of the american soldiers die and get ptsd from war which is insane because ptsd from the military is no fucking joke i have no pity at all for any fucking soldiers u.s military who fucking who i hope you get ptsd I have members of my family who have been in the military that have PTSD. It's not fucking okay it, to wish that on anybody. It really isn't. Not only my understanding, but also my personal experience. It's like similar to Alzheimer's in a way because it's like not your family member doing what they're doing. It's what they went through or what they're just doing out of habit, you know? Like for example, if they hear fucking loud noise, they think it's a goddamn gunshot. Like somebody like, and they just go into fucking fight or flight mode. And most of the time it's, you know, fight obviously, but like it's insane saying like these comments that she's making but the reason she made these comments is because she talks about and she made this entire long response currently her family is getting bombed in the name of liberation i'm assuming the whole uh, palestine stuff that's going on which i'm not going to get into but that's basically why she made the comment that she did and she tried to clarify by the way after doubling down on stream mind you reacting to her own clip and basically saying i didn't see anything wrong with it what i did and i actually so agree with it so much i'm gonna say it again any other motherfucker you're joining them you're like, oh my god i want my fucking camaro no student loans fuck you i hope you get ptsd <laughs> And I hope you get no health insurance when you get back into the fucking America. <laughs> like, am I supposed to be, am I supposed to be like, like, I'm not walking back on it. I still fucking agree with it. Aw, babe. But then after all the hate that comes out, she makes a Twitter post about it. I actually mean the only ones that show no remorse and, you know, yabba 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 dabba do head ass. Like, <laughs> I understand that you feel type of way about whatever is going on because of your family, your country, whatever is happening. I'm sorry, that sucks. But it doesn't mean you take it out on the majority. Like you can't make a big rationalization of the entirety of the US military if it's the few. It's like saying all men are shit because some of the men treat women terribly. Just because there's a few bad eggs doesn't mean the whole batch is just, you gotta throw it out. Why, why are we making a big rationalization of the entire US military? Like this doesn't make any sense. I've had members of my family in the military. Like it, it, it's not, it's not okay. Not all people in the military are bad. Like, and the crazy part is she said she only got 30 days compared to some other streamers that got two weeks. I don't fucking know. It just pisses me off because it brings me back to my point where why are people like this having a platform when one, it's in a clear violation of Twitch TOS. It took them a long, long fucking time to do this. If this was anybody else, I swear to God, this them, them motherfuckers would be on them in an instant banning. It took them a couple days after the clip surface. It's fucking wild. Like you should never wish anything like that on somebody, especially those who don't deserve it. Like why the fuck are we doing that? I'm sorry, I just need to go off on a fucking rant about it because that was insane. It brings me back to my point of, and this is not only just with this situation, but also with a lot of other situations which I can make a whole fucking video about. Like why do a lot of people assume that the 
whole batch of eggs are done kaput like they're fucking dog shit just because there's one or two bad eggs in there like it doesn't mean you throw the entire batch away so why are we doing that you can make that analogy with anything nowadays and it's just to show you that people like this should not have a fucking platform like i'm not over here being like oh oh high almighty on my fucking high horse when I'm talking about stuff like this but this is just like insane a lot of the time there's no repercussion thank god twitch actually did something on this and they're actually cracking down on a whole bunch of hassan's little butt buddies which mind you i don't like hassan i really don't i really don't that's a whole nother video but the one watching this goddamn video listen up your boy has a sponsor for this video i know crazy and today's sponsor is advanced gg shout out to advanced gg they are the best gaming supplement on the market they got three lines energy shout out to them for sending me some it's amazing my personal favorite out of all the ones i have from the energy line i love the melon cream pop that is so so good i absolutely love it. that's my favorite from the hydration i love the watermelon swirl that watermelon swirl one is pretty good i'm not gonna lie and then from the focus line i got a blueberry acai and you know, you're probably wondering what's that i don't even know but <laughs> it tastes great i ain't gonna lie but if you want to go ahead and support your boy because your boy really needs to pay his editors you know they're they're, they're, they're scrapping they're, they're, they're locked in the basement you know editing me slaving away you know what i'm saying help let me pay them please go ahead and use the referral link in the description and use code meach for 10 percent off supports me supports my editors and we get to pump out these amazing videos all right let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below about twitch streamers like this not her political views but just like making outlandish comments and shit like that it's fucking insane bro i don't know but let me know what you guys think i love y'all and i'll catch y'all next video okay bye don't do drugs okay